All right, Karibu Sana. This is still Why in the Morning and Good Morning to you. My good name is Sakwa, and as always, you can interact with us on our socials, and it includes Facebook and on Twitter at Y244 channel underscore on the gram. Personally, you can check me out at Brian Sakwa 101. The hashtag is Why in the Morning. This is the last segment of the day, also the last uh, conversation of the day, and uh, it's an interesting topic. Uh, today, also being a uh, Wild uh, Population Day. It's an interesting day that actually, uh, let me just find some one, two, three uh, statistics on it. It's marked on every 11th of July, which is an annual event. Main purpose of this day is to bring awareness about the rising cases of global population and the issues and problems that arise with overpopulation. So I definitely, towards the tail end, will be telling you which is the most populous country as well. Well, uh, the one has uh, around... Uh, approximately 8 billion people uh, initially we were around 7.9 something billion but you know it seems like as time goes by the population keeps on you know gaining so uh, 8 billion people in the world <laughs> but uh, which is the most populous country in the world please tell us uh, you can tell us but uh, we'll be talking about that and much more but away from that we have an interesting uh, question that we had asked you on our social media and be rest assured uh, keep your feedback coming and be sampling it towards the tail end Jumadem ni wengi, duniani, to do. And also what contributes for families to have more females or more baby girls as compared to the boy child. Is there something that we should do? But you know, I was having a conversation with someone who's telling me that even in the Bible days, men were given much priority than women. So I don't know. The dominance, I, I think it should be. The other way around. Since men were given more dominance, ladies should be more. What do you think about tell me? But joining us live in studio are two powerful gentlemen who are going to actually take us through this interesting topic on that hashtag, which is why in the morning we have Musita Dennis, who is a student leader at the University of Nairobi, as well as Daniel Nyambuki, who is uh, a journalism student as well. First of all, Karibuni Sana. A weekend in quads. In the weekend, the threads. Manda mano na concussions za kila kitu pale. Uh, weekend imekuwa tu sawa. Uh -huh. uh, ilikuwa busy after the, the weekend imeisha. Yeah. Being there there was new a new up trades. Yeah, ilikuwa threads. Obviously. Yeah. Uh -huh. threads really? <laughs> <laughs> threads and then I'm like ini ni watu So yeah. You have first of all natural statistics kuna just say kuna hizi mambo na ads unajua una kuna zile ads definitely unapata kuna zingine unaingia and then maybe you are subscribing to a certain thing and you maybe itakuja of course but so i'm still taking statistics but today lazima ni join trades in trend in ski kasa all right buda bado je je join na join leo okay yeah, hopefully you will yeah. so back to the question uh, this is this is an interesting conversation as much as today we are marking world uh, population day yeah. but uh, there's a way that you know there's some, uh, so many stories in between. So Jim Bonner, madem, madem ni wengi kushinda machali, and then kuna hadi somewhere in the Bible that says that time will come when seven women will be fighting for only one man because there will be no man to marry them. So I'm confused. But Abu, let's stick to Kenya right here. Do you guys feel like also in Kenya kuna madem wengi kushinda machali? Ama ni vile tuina balance, <laughs> ama pia ni misconception, ama ni watu wajafanya research. Is it true that madem ni wengi Kenya kushinda machali? Maybe yeah. we can start with you, Dennis. Uh, thank you. Uh, according to me, Napia, from reliable sources, actually, ni zasema wastena ni wengi. When you consider about the Y cro uh, the X Y chromosomes and the X X chromosomes, you angalia men wakona X Y, which means they have the male and the female chromosomes. But yeah. the ladies work on the XX chromosomes, which means they must up again, they dominate. So right. if Fika Wakachi were giving birth, Utapata Kwamba was standing, Jumondo Hajabeba is not a, she's not a carrier, sorry. What a Kwana high chance the sanas give birth to a lady. You yeah. inafanya Kwamba, inafanya was standing up for in a population, not just in Kenya, but yeah. Kangalia um, worldwide. Yeah, yeah was standing mm -hmm. Wingi. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, what about you, Daniel? Do you feel like Madame ni wengi Kenya kushinda machali? Experience yako and opinion yako ni gani? Okay, as for me, nadhani Madame ni wengi kuliko machali. Mm -hmm. I think that's true. But... Uh, Nini nafanya unasema hivyo? Is it Daru kwenye unasoma Madame ni wengi adi? Yeah, but actually... Eh, actually Daru unasoma Madame ni wengi? Uh, I think boys. last year to Madame ni wengi kutuliko. Mm -hmm. And... Um, 
I think hata kampo tukitembeanga hivi I see madem ni wengi kuliko maboy. Hata uh-huh. huku nje ukitembea kwa wengi. Yeah. yeah. But uh, what I can say uh, ni ile unajua maboy pia tunaji expose singi kwa vitu zingine dangerous sana mm-hmm. leading to death rate pia zinakuanga juu kwa side ya maboy. Yeah. So maybe I think that's one factor which makes it uh, the graph to be like that madem wako wengi maboy wako wachache. Right. And, and and back to you Dennis do you feel like maybe uh tutafika tutafika at a place where as a man it have you plan because I've heard stories even medical wise there's a way you can plan to for example if it's your first pregnancy or in a marriage and when I have time to eat, and you intentionally are looking for a boy so there's a way that a man can prepare for that I don't know if it's mentally psychologically <laughs> but it also includes sexually as well even medically uh-huh. so maybe in african tradition society kuna some two three stories around it and philosophies zenyo uh, shaiskiani kama gani zenyo walikona sema eh and then there's also funny there's that communities that believe the first born child lazima kuwe boy mm-hmm. like ni automatic akiwa demata what what end the on the man of any sacrifice because when i believe ni lazima first born akuwe ni boys akiwa them ni bad luck mm-hmm. so what are some of the stories you guys have heard? so today actually you should first of all uh leave the all, all those outdated uh, myth and conceptions about uh, who should be the first born or who should be yeah um you know i'm i'm i'm, I'm a lawyer and in your community you can either like atwezi sema unafaa kufanya nini ndio actually ukienda huko hivyo upate bibi yako amejifungua mtoto wa kike ama wa kiume actually ni bidii zako wewe mwenyewe okay. as a man wewe wewe mwenyewe jipe bidii wewe jipe nguvu sifike huko wanze kuambiwa oh it's all over unasikia unasikia mtu akiambiwa kwamba like this man actually i i may say this kuna this this what you call the the mental health of a person Mm-hmm. Kuna wale watu especially for yeah, for, uh, for youth especially chatwande na youth kwanza unapata watu wana engage kwa vitu mob sana zenye zita lead at least uh, zita lead ndio ikifika hadi wakati wanaenda kuoana ama wakati ambapo anataka kupeana mimba unapata inamsumbua we have what you call masturbation mm-hmm. kiangalia especially vijana oh, sorry vijana ni kama vijana ya comprise wasichana na mm-hmm. let me talk about boy child yeah i can say it they call it kunyonga kunyonga, kunyonga. Like MPO like Gina like 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 Soft yeah, like yeah, like 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 market. Okay. So this is uh, it, it affects especially boys especially if you have a story in the long distance relationships the yeah. kind of foods they are taking and uh-huh. sometimes the kind of cloth one avalia. Uh-huh. When you do this for example kama tuseme for example umevalia zile nguo zimekutaiten sana especially mm. when you want to sleep actually ukilala na fu unakuwa free your body yeah. should relax. Umevalia nguo usilale na nguo kabisa. Usilale na nguo. Ah no, I don't mean usilale na nguo. But at least kuna yeah. zile nguo unaweza valia uh-huh. ukilala nazo. Okay. When it comes to the foods we are taking. Unafika yeah. ni jioni usiku unapata mm. mwanaume ako na energy drink. Mm. He's taking very hot stuff. Hizo zina kuchemsha mwili. Right. And to be honest, hautakuwa vizuri. You'll be uncomfortable. Right. Yeah, I'm you watch the board. I'm uh, you know I'm, I'm really building up these <laughs> examples. <laughs> okay. Ni one of the contributor cuz I put them to it them. So, yeah. l- let me go this. Um uh, let me now be straightforward. Uh, ukiangalia tuseme achana na foods unakula. Yeah. What you're watching today especially kuna zile platforms uh, kwa, kwa simu and kwa all over yeah. social media zenye yeah. unapata mtu anaenda kuangalia tu at least ndo i feel like kuji release oh tuseme sasa kama tiktok ama unasema pornhub yeah, exactly mago oh, pornhub up. adult so, website <laughs> the, this website pornhub uh-huh. utapata for example kama una nyonga sana right actually this will lead to erectile dysfunction yeah uh-huh. like to erectile dysfunction and maybe mm-hmm. uh, it said unasikia ukitaka mtoto mwanaume lazima ufanye kazi kabisa. Right. And hii kazi hatujajoni kazi gani wanasema. Mm-hmm. But wanamaanisha like if you are going uh, for a sexual activity with your wife actually yeah. Yeah, like lazima uko prepped for it. Yeah, be prepared for it. So right. when you are watching uh-huh. this it's a perfect and okay. maybe utaenda hapo hivyo one minute umemaliza kazi yako. Nah. Haujafanya vile inafaa, unapata 
okay. matokeo yanatoka okay. sivyo ulikuwa una expect so okay. uh, mm -hmm. hii inafanya especially wavulana wengi wenye wananyonga right. it, um, it affects sana especially their system mm -hmm. na kupata okay. watoto inakuwa ngumu na hii itaendelea yeah. una kuendeleza wasichana wanakuwa wengi sana right so yes. i think i think i've heard uh, your story sounds familiar to what pastor t uh, said i'm a big fan he's a good friend as well uh, there's a point i'll kind of say what you're saying that you know when you're used to that you just don't know the energies you're releasing maybe the sure. energy you're releasing is the last energy you get released in your lifetime That's but true. now you released it like 15 years ago and now here you are mranza kuombea watoto kanisani but it's not coming through but you know interesting interesting uh, what are the crazy ones you heard around okay, that as well as for me ne zanzia na ile nye madhi alikuwa kiniambianga eh madhi alikuwa ananiambianga ukikunywa nescafe ukiwa mtoto inaribu watoto so but sijui kama ni kweli i've never proved it but i have had like uh, during young age you should not be taking hard stuff yeah yeah that one is one uh, which is leading to being important okay the second one is uh, those people who ride bicycle or cycle cyclists yeah yeah it is somehow dangerous to I didn't do the I'm a bicycle okay bicycle i can see bicycle uh -huh. because unajua bicycle ndudi unikokatu uh -huh. no, no. but by scale it ko yo ko pedal so you can interrupt so, okay. yeah, sure 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 sama yeah nasema ukiendesha by ni mazoezi no okay iko ukifanya mazoezi unatenza misuli your muscles yeah. na una gain nguvu and like kule mtu ambaye amekatwa hapo hivyo unajua kuna ujanielewa kwanza okay. unajua kiti ya by scale unaona wengi na kaa mhm but they are so, comfortable no there are other which are comfortable lakini kuna and zile, why should you sit on a say that is not comfortable kuna, kuna zile for example wakati black mamba zilianzianga mhm mm hiyo kiti ilikuwa ya plastic na ni ngumu alafu ilikuwa imekuwa ka shape kingine kutoka huko mbele nikakonda hivi then kuja huko ni nini so yeah, ukipata msemo wenyewe yeah. kama like in lowland ukipata katoto kadogo hivi kashaanza kuendesha black Bicycle. mamba uh -huh. kubwa ya mzee Ah, so unapata kiasi. Yeah. Uh -huh. So unapata ina ina muumiza huko chini. Uh, so hiyo okay. kuumiza like in a, in a persistent way. Yeah. In a like in effect uh, yeah, uh, actually the general sexuality of a man. Yeah. Because there are so many things in that. What about uh, what about your story like uh, if you drink alcohol a lot, you know, you're likely to be impotent. It also affects your productivity as a man. Because yeah. I believe you're talking about the sex health health factors that lead to like probability of you getting a a, a male mm -hmm. kid or yeah. a female kid. What about kunyo pombe sana? But I know people who drink a lot and still walk around. In fact, their yeah, their families is balanced. It got to sour. I think yeah. there's no debate about that. Uh-huh. Okay, okay. Ni kama ni mazoea. If let let us say, let us be realistic. Actually, I would like to speak with the realism and uh, maybe many of us may think it's a fuss. Mm -hmm. But sometimes I'm even left in quagmire and I try to understand like mm -hmm. if I know this thing when I take it, actually to leave myself in a quandary maybe to my health status. Mm -hmm. Alcohol as a man, not even as a man, even as a woman when you take alcohol. Yeah. Kwanza it affects mwili wako kwanza. It will it will affect your hormones kwa kwanza. Mm -hmm. And if it's in a continuous use, actually for male, let's talk about male. Ukianza ukiwa kijana mtoto mdogo tuseme for example, nianze kunywa pombe saa hii. Unajua ukianza at least unaona mara ya kwanza ukianza utasema hii kitu ni mzuri. Hebu nijaribu tena. Yeah. Utakuja na kuwa mazoea asubuhi mchana mpaka jioni unakunywa pombe. So hii itakuwa affect wewe kitu ya kwanza. Hautakuwa unafikiria like Sh what should I do? You know, especially today's, uh, today, wasichana uh, wapendi watu wanalewa sana. Not unless those who, have, who are not logical or who are not civilized. Wale wasichana wanapenda shere sana. Aundi watakuenge. And to be honest, atu kiangalia wavulana sayi, like tukianza tu na ayo, tuku, eh, we are always penda msichana, anapiga shere, anayenda kwa ba, analewa, nini, hauta penda kabisa. Actually, how tuwa tunasema, aono wakucheza tunao. But we personally utataka ule mtu mwenye ako upright, let me say, She's uh, she's okay. When I say okay, I uh, just better have covered everything like mentally, physically, and kila kitu wako sawa. But ukiangalia hao nyo wanapenda kulewa sana, kitu wakonda pia itawafekti wao. Akilewa ifikiri adi wa, uh, wanaume. 
inafikiria kuelewa and this last two wanaume wengi especially wanakuwa uh, nini celibate ataki mwanamke na hiyo kutotaka mwanamke hiyo ndio itafanya tena tusiendelee kuzana na multiple yeah mm -hmm. now I get your example because <laughs> because uh, actually it's very true like you realize uh, that they say the population yeah, the ratio between male and female okay i can say uh -huh. uh, in a, a recent research this uh, it said that uh, we can contradict ourselves Okay. Yeah, in a recent research of uh, the United Nations in 2019-2021, it said that uh, for every 1.05 uh, male born, there is a uh, hundred females. So yeah. in afanya male wana kwa wengi. For the time being, I can also say that wana many wengi. Mm -hmm. The reason being utapata kuna kuna mali na fika unapata kuna wana ume moja, akona wana wake more than three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But kuna time utapata pia kuna mwanamke mmoja lakini ana wanaume more than three. Yeah. I'm um, sorry to say this without fear of contradiction. Look at uh, the other religion, the Muslim. Wanaruhusiwa mm -hmm. kwa more, more than, than four wives. More than four wives. Mm -hmm. So you see this as a man. For example, if Is it um, more than three or more than four? <laughs> or let, even okay, more. Let us as, say, let us as, say as many they as are can. polygamous. Uh, mm -hmm. They are polygamous, yeah. So if today I'm going to stay, uh, not today, this month, na decide nenda ka huku hivi. Aha. Nitenda nikae huku hivi maybe eka nguvu zangu zote na eka huku kwa hii nyumba ya kwanza. Na yeah. jaribu because I want a boy child. Right. But sometimes pay in effect we can say whether in as effect pia. Mhm. Mm um sometimes uh, Sasa tuseme upeane nguvu za nguvu za <laughs> karibu ni sema nguvu za kiume but anyway it's ni nguvu either way. Um, so when you So ensure to spend your time in the f with the first wife and all the x and y chromosomes the can do go we uh -huh. also talk about the the uh, population policies maybe uh -huh. for example una pata mtu anaamua kuwa independent for uh -huh. example she's my wife but there's some certain thing that she's not telling me okay. so una pata uh, for these uh, uh, policies una pata anaenda for family planning mm -hmm. na hakwambi wewe yeah. so mimi ni kwa hivi mimi najikaza yangu yote jamaa najituma najituma hapana na only to realize later that huyu kumbe alifanya alienda family planning, planning. and wewe umewest to kwa nguvu zako zote all the chromosomes nini zote umewest to and there are these three bado wanakungoja unaenda huko hivyo unapata the sasa chromosomes zenyewe zilibaki ni zile unaweza za mwanaume peke yake sometimes unaweza pata kuna mtu Maybe it's a uh, god I just say mani mwanaume ama mtu kivi yake ni Mungu amepanga like it's biology it's, yeah. you know in science they say it's biology mm -hmm. but Christians say <laughs> ni god ama ni holy spirit so <laughs> we can say for example <laughs> kuna ule mtu ambaye things watu ya moja peke yake aha uh -huh. ya moja meaning <laughs> um maybe for example tukianza hapo nyuma ulisema unaweza pata kama mtoto mmoja Aha. Like ni hivyo, mm. kaput. Moja, auta ipata mgini. Ya, kuna hivyo. It is possible. Aha. Na ukijaribu tu kabisa, kabisa, kabisa. So maybe for leisure mm. and exposure. Aha. Yes. So like, kama mingi likuwa na piana experience, uh, kuna watu like, uh, like, okay, I want to advise our mothers. Our mothers kuna wengine like, they fear watoto wao kupata ball before yeah. the age mm -hmm. like mostly high school kids especially yeah. in the rural areas sana yeah. sana yeah. unapata mode kama huyo ameambiwa ati ukichukua mtoto wako family planning uh, atapata like the risk ya kupata pregnancy itakuwa very low like yeah. si hata very low itakuwa dealt with but uh, hii family planning pia ukitek kama huyo unajua ni mtoto si mtu mkubwa yeah. So the moment umeanza ku introduce kwa hiyo uh, si mara moja mara mbili mara tatu you are risking her chance ya kupata watoto pia. So yeah. unapata like mostly nasikianga kuna yenye onekewa anda hapa one am. Mm -hmm. Th that one kind of affects them very much like it might lead them to be infertile. In infertile or yeah. infertility. And also kuna um, kuna hii yenye like uh, wazee wazee wengi sana hiyo yenye umesema like they like wapate mtoto wao wa kwanza kwa first born mm. and then unapata umze with his wife 
wameanza like that act ya kupata watoto yeah. the first round akakuja dem the second round akakuja dem na umse aja mind ku consult any physician uh, any doctor do yeah. the, yeah, the problem so unapata ya kila saa anajaribu 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 yeah. anaenda ako na watoto nine na baada anafikiria wa tena atakuja boy jana yeah, so, mm-hmm. like na baada ajenda ku consult like ako acha tu nijaribu acha tu nijaribu umeona yeah. maybe sometimes uh, ana hiyo chromosome yenye inaezaleta nini boy and yeah. he needs to go and consult uh, yeah. daktari amwambie like this is the issue here and here and here iko hivyo yeah. and then also mm-hmm. mm, kuna hiyo early pregnancies Uh, madem wengi upata early pregnancies but mostly pia uko kwa village but hata si village this is uh, Kenya wide mm-hmm. uh, unapata hata kuna wasichana huko in the campus wanapata ball and then anaogopa like tunaenda long holiday nitaambia nini wazazi it will be big wataona so unapata na decide ku abort the nini pregnancy So yeah. in that process ya kwa both the pregnancy ujui kama maybe huyu ndio angekuwa mtoto wako wa mwisho. Right. Mm-hmm. So like the moment umefanya hivyo na huyu ndio alikuwa mtoto wako pekee umekafunga. Umekafunga hivyo na ukikafunga yeah. utakuwa na mse anakuja anajaribu mtoto akuji. Anajaribu mtoto akuji. You see na pia mtu anapenda mtu uh, si rahisi umwambie eti haizi pata mtoto akubali hivyo like yeah. atakuwa tu like kwacha tu tujaribu umeona right yeah and also uh mother when i think who take drugs mostly in affecting their chances ya kupata watoto so i think they should consider that also so that to save the population right yeah. and, and 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 Dennis you said that wanaume wako si eti hawako Okay. But uh, there's, there's, there's this excerpt that says by Cora, it says the human sex ratio changes across a person's lifespan and about 106 boys are born for every 100 girls. 106 in total, which is a big number yes. to the ratio of girls. But by the age of 70, there's about 70 men for every 100 women. To us, age in Africa, 70. So there's also a significant difference in sex ratio in different countries and this is actually what brings the disparity. Kuna za kuna like uh, 10 men for every 7 girls, but by the time life span in endelea utakuta like my boy child watatu wamekufa mysteriously through either just life happening diseases yeah. and also we are looking at also health risk factors like you know women are more conscious in terms of their health in terms of uh, their welfare security as well like for us men we are more prone to dangers yeah. as in what and ohang nyuma trailer when the jobs you can go away but them at a child so such factors actually lead to you know uh, actually mortality rate in terms of like health uh, life lost and whatnot but then i'm also looking at from a spiritual perspective you know uh, i've heard so many stories and so many philosophies that all we are jaribu ku change adia ka change adi bibi aka change adi family nyal kwa meo aka divorce bibi kwanza pila tatu in the name of looking for a male child are there like maybe now real spiritual issues zenye zinaza or am a spiritual factors zenye zinaza come in useme eh manza vile tunaona ndo yako utaipata mtu idema machali because maybe mtu alis you know for fa- in, in family especially in african culture kuna kuanga tuna ka story mali sijui oh uncle house jo alifanya nini oh sijui family wali ruka nini like there's always something an african story regarding oh, you yeah. know some dark past uh, maybe uh uh-huh. uh I don't believe in akakwa uh, in akakwaiz. I can say that uh, sometimes unapata this especially affects those who are very loyal and very faithful by the way. My brother said that uh unajaribu mara ya kwanza hadi ya tisa bado ulikuwa unexpect boy child. Yeah. But have you tried outside? I can talk of my experience maybe from where I come from. The, this man ule mko wake ambaye mmeka kwa nyumba mtoto wa kwanza alijifungua mwana eh, ni msichana wa pili hivyo hivyo and then this man just decided no akaenda nje akaenda kuhanya 
intentionally ama by mistake hapa sasa this is intentional you want a boy you want someone who is going to inherit by accident it's not accident by the some what na sema it's in kitu hiyo ni kama tu ni negligence so you can say like umeamua kwamba mimi sina mtoto wa kiume the village wants you you know for you to be recognized kwa village where we come from well, let me say about community where yeah. i come from uh, in, in my community in the lawyer community you have to be uh, recognized come una mtoto wa kiume like yeah. who is going to inherit uh, after you pass on mm. and for that reason utapata jamaa anaamua kwa nini and good luck unaenda tv nje pap for the first time boy no, child unapata boy child eh. lakini huko hivi uki kama umevumilia so i don't encourage men ku especially wale nye wanatafuta mtoto wa kiume like they should now go outside stick and uh, to the wife. Uh, they should seek their wife to be loyal kuna magonjo uh-huh. yeah. um, but if you're then, a traditionalist you can go that route if you're a traditionalist uh, maybe you can try but uh, i don't encourage the, this uh-huh. point tumeongelea kuhusu tumeongelea sana kuhusu uh, wasichana ku about especially for campus students today yeah. when you walk along the streets most uh, street children most of them according to me na vile nimekuwa nikitembea nimepata wengi ni yeah. wavlana according mm-hmm. to me ah mm-hmm. uh, ukiangalia okay, wavlana wengi hakuna ule msichana ule moyo yako civilized hata mwa kwenda like not unless maybe kuna kitu umefanywa kwa village mambo ya ushago ushago hivi unaelewa ndio unaweza jipata ume fall in love na mtu wa streets kitu kama hiyo so boy child in the other hand wataendelea kubaki wachacha kwa sababu wengi wakichazaliwa wanakuwa neglected na wakiwa neglected bochel anaona sasa mimi sina chochote sometimes you can tell you even sometimes unaweza diambia girlfriend yako about your uh, social life then anaanza kutoka tu pole 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 unakuja mwenyewe unajiogopa like unakuwa tu suppressed we mwenyewe like Kuna you don't mwenye. yeah mm-hmm. so by that unajipata umekuwa desperate unasema oh no acha ikwe hivyo unapata yeah. mwanaume amu maku relax hivyo hivyo amanda ma drugs hapa na pale anakuwa right. street uh, street guy aha uh-huh. yeah uh, 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 okay. Uh, okay according to me pia kuna hiyo story ya uh, like ku cheat yeah, cheating yeah like in a okay, or okay. In, a marriage, in a marriage like trying outside venya amesema wao mm. msali and inze aka akapataga yeah but uh, to advise also our fathers do the moment umeenda inje na tukagundua kuna wengine hatuwezi sikia vizuri umeona yeah. like it's a family breaker so mm. badala ya kufanya hivyo just discuss with your wife mueleze yeah. like uh, tumejaribu even you you know see it ni mimi peke yangu jo wapi unajua tumejaribu this the maybe the fourth round ama the fifth round yeah. na tujui like i uh, tumeona tu ni mademo anakuja right. so uh, kuliko maybe i go cheating ama ni tafute second wife can we yeah. try something else like can we hire akuna wa madewa ku hire like they carry your uh, nini yeah uh, okay. it's called surrogacy yeah a surrogate, surrogate. Mm-hmm. can we hire a surrogate mother so mm-hmm. that maybe unaona kama huyu alienda nje akapata umeona yeah. so maybe this lady aneza walete huyo kijana and then you'll yeah. be okay with it like hata kama ni wa mother fulani but will be treating yeah. uh, the boy as your own but i feel like that, that, your, that example applies to like now advanced versions of like now yeah. we are intentionally looking for a male kid yeah. for those that have money and awareness but traditionally uh, from uh, what you said I personally have heard stories here like your family sits with you as a man yes. and advises you that at this point uh, it ability to source them So hata kama itabidi sample kumi. kama wataleta mtoto kijana na wanatafuta maybe at, I, I don't know if you guys watched this afro cinema movies zenye this king ama this prince ama leka ama moa wanatafuta mtu hadi wame parade madem wote i think it's still happening in Swaziland yes. yeah. where like they intentionally until hata kama utalala na 100 women until let me talk again at but then also my 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 my, my battle of thought is like you know why is this thing recognize a lot in africa and not like developed countries like us china but uh, Brian, uh, what i can UK. what i can say uh-huh. uh, the funny fact is where i come from in kisi mm-hmm. uh to our first born dem uh-huh. our neighbors on uh, the right side ni first born dem on the left side ni dem so like 
I think it's just to get civilized. Yo mambo ya TCG yo kijana ndio maybe first bona manini. Yeah. It should go like like let's be civilized. Unajua kama watoto unataka kijana atakuja na kama akuji there are other ways ya kusort hiyo kitu. Yeah. In a quiet manner like in CT yo lazima kijana kwa first bonama like we must have us there are some people wenye wako na mtoto mmoja na ni dem na ni dem ama ni kijana ama ni kijana na like, hawana shida like, wako na maboys kama watano hakuna dem sijana and they are good they are happy content and they are thanking god <laughs> <laughs> na kuna mwenye wako na like hata boy na dem but bado anatafuta na jai pata na yuko content like, so it's more like uh, it comes from a personal content uh, a personal place of self belief especially in the african setup now Yeah. And then who has a religion who condone you or say me oh so generally rogwa there's even witchcraft stories that come in you know? yeah but you know as i have a funny fact in me na kuanga nayo na sema nga like heri unajua heri upate madimu mengi juu unajua ukiona madimu mengi uko mbele uko mbele kuna pali pesa inakuja mzuri so like i think that is now the african <laughs> our parents especially our my grandfather Actually, would, would, we definitely would that. definitely agree with you like the more Uh, yeah, the baby more girls the you have the more the wealth you world, have yeah. but then also the more girls you have the more unsafe you are in a home setup sure. <laughs> especially now from the Louis and the Luo side you're like hey, that see, home is no safe because kilometer to like and like uh, the mothers apo sasa ndio role yao ina play sana the uh-huh. mothers should like uh, raise their kids in a um, a standard way like okay unajua kuna wale mother flani uko home unapata wamefungia mostly watoto wao kwa nyumba au oh, nini mostly hata hapa campus ukipata wasichana wengi mostly wale wenye nonanga wanafosiwa okay si wanafosiwa they are used sunday asubuhi ni church wakimaliza church ama saturday ni church hivyo warudi kwa nyumba wajaruhusiwa kuongea na watu huku maybe tu salamu waruhusiwi kusimama na sisi kuongea like mostly wakitoka huku nje wakipata freedom wanageuka ngao na kuwa kitu kingine lakini wakirudi home pia na wana tu in the same same venye wanakuanga lakini ikifika hapa campus wako in a different style so what i can advise ni ile like um, our mothers like we are in a, a digital world right now watoto acha like let's let's expose them kama mimi madel ni expose kwa simu i was i think classics so like i know what a phone can do and what a phone cannot do and like kuna msesa yake kipewa simu atapitia vitu mingi so like kuna vitu mimi pia niliona nikiwa mdogo kwa simu which wa okay simu nzuri nikisema simu nzuri but madel ziona at early life akani cancel about them so ni like our mothers ndio wa take role kubwa sana kwa the way they bring up their ladies ndio to avoid to avoid these future problems okay <laughs> maybe i should ask how does this affect if you are exposed to a phone maybe sometimes you know we live to learn new things mm-hmm. maybe today i'll say you know kuna ule mtu for example utenda di or reliable sources unatafuta umejaribu waganga wa umejaribu wa yani hao watu wote umeshindwa and then you just realize that una sim mm-hmm. you have data bundles you have wifi mm-hmm. utenda wande ku search vitu mingi sana and maybe to say me for example we hapo malolkuna unaenda kwa simu tunajua social media inaribu inaribu vijana sana so i really don't know how that affects this population maybe uh, what i can say brian uh-huh. um, according to me and maybe we should just accept this mm-hmm. that sometimes population is not just affected by the male and female uh, uh, male and uh, the male and female uh-huh. population is affected by the um population policies migration yeah. urbanization the yeah. uh, population characteristics for example we can talk of the gender uh, i mean sorry the age uh, we can also talk about the socio economic factors for example where sasa unataka tu una focus na maisha kwanza you are living even climate the, change climate change yeah. so uh, perhaps yeah. i can say that it also con- uh, gives an uh, an impact right 
kwa population. All right. Uh, Let us think about uh, outside the box. All right. Uh, kidogo to let me sample feedback because we are, we are out of time. We actually have a minute. Uh, there's somebody here on Twitter who says, uh, let me get it right, let me get it right, let me get it right. Almost escaping. Right. And I say, men should just embrace polygamy. Do you feel like polygamy can solve uh, the ratio of male to female? Or sure. Vice versa? Absolutely, 100%. Mm -hmm. But yeah. me, I, I, I sharply contrast. Mm -hmm. Because uh, they, there, is no, there is no credibility in that when you embrace polygamy, like you can have three wives, but all of them give you female children yeah. rather than men. Uh, again, that uh, perhaps you are the problem. But yeah, that, so that's why I say we should not <laughs> we should not say that it will but you know solve hundred percent. But <laughs> it, it may solve, but it's not a, it's not a promising. Sure yeah. yeah. But anyways, we are out of time. We can't continue any further. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, uh, I definitely will hold it at that. But uh, do you, uh, you, you had mentioned one of the traditional ways is that, you know, as a man, maybe there's foodstuffs you need to eat or foodstuffs you need to avoid. Yes. Now, yeah. sci scientifically now, like if you're intentionally mm -hmm. looking for a male kid. Yes. But I wonder how many men would subscribe to that, like, meal plan and diet. Like, you're intentionally eating some certain foodstuff, no pate, until you are kiume. I think it's very, it's, it's a difficult plan for men out here. So in short, people to wakubali, madem watendele kwa wengi. Even in the Bible, do we have more women in the Bible than male? I don't know. But you know, there's the story of God being a man and not being a woman. But God. Ariana Grande will disagree and <laughs> God say, is a spirit. God is a woman. <laughs> yeah. And he contains both X and uh, Y chromosomes. So uh, definitely we'll put it at there. Uh, we can't continue any further. Thank you, Musita Dennis and Daniel Dabuki. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming. Social media, Arakaraka. On Twitter, you can get me at um, uh, Dennis underscore Musita. Okay. On TikTok, at Dennis Musita. Right, On yeah. Facebook, you can get me at Musita Ray Densel. Okay. okay, at Facebook, you can meet me at Danwis underscore Montez. Instagram, the same. Threads, the same. Twitter, the same. Hey, what were threads, by the way? <laughs> so, oh. so, PSCC will be sharing our threads humble <laughs> as well. Yeah. At Wang for channel, at Brian Soko 101, hashtag which is still in the morning. See you tomorrow for a health and entrepreneurship Tuesday. Have a fantastic Monday.